According to the Aluminum Association and the Aluminum Extruders Council, North American consumption of aluminum extrusions rose for the fifth consecutive year in 2014, driven mainly by growth in the building, construction and automotive sectors. Extruded aluminum appears to be moving closer to becoming a top OEM choice for designing, engineering and producing component parts. Aluminum extrusion is more frequently used as an institutionalized supply chain approach as it is often credited with reducing manufacturing costs and accelerating time to market. An EPA report shows automakers for the second straight year beat U.S. government targets for improving gas mileage and reducing tailpipe emissions by a wide margin. New technologies such as variable valve timing, direct fuel injection, and weight reduction using lighter materials such as aluminum and carbon fiber were responsible for the improvements. The 2015 Ford F-150 Super Crew earned five-star top government crash ratings thanks to a host of new safety-related innovations and the transition to aluminum. Aluminum-intensive vehicles are said to be among the very safest on the road because the high-strength metal absorbs crash energy well, helping protect passengers in an accident. These recent safety ratings of the Ford F-150 seem to support the observation that aluminum structures are compatible with state-of-the-art safety engineering. Lexus has announced that the upcoming RX facelift is going to be made of aluminum. This will make the SUV the first ever vehicle from Lexus to come out with aluminum parts. Lexus explained that they are integrating aluminum to drastically reduce weight. The aluminum parts will shape the hood, tailgate and closures of the vehicle. And a growing number of foreign automakers believes U.S. regulators won't soften the plan to 54.5 mile per gallon fleet-wide average by 2025. U.S. fuel efficiency standards will nearly double between 2012 and 2025. Automakers also face separate requirements to make a rising number of zero-emission vehicles in California and other states, as well as tightening rules in Europe and Asia. This news would seem to lead more manufacturers to consider integrating more lighter weight aluminum in future designs. For more, visit TheAluminumChannel.com. I'm Scott Drake. Thanks for watching.